Hey guys, how are you? This is Nikhil. So this video is particularly meant for my brothers and sisters of the Tamil Nadu state and that too electrical engineering graduates because this recruitment which I am going to discuss is for only the students of the Tamil Nadu state only. It's not that others cannot apply. The people of other, the candidates of other states also can apply. But there is a condition that you should be having knowledge of Tamil Nadu, Tamil language. So if you are having the awareness of Tamil language, then other states also can uh, proceed watching this video and you can apply for the exam and write the examination. So the exam that I am going to talk is about the Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission Combined Engineering Services 2019 exam. And uh, I will be talking specifically with respect to electrical engineering branch only. If students of other branches are also watching, this video may not be uh, apt for you because I am an electrical engineer. So I am talking with respect to electrical engineering only. So for electrical engineering graduates for uh, B.Tech or B.E or AMI degree holders in electrical engineering, you are having two posts in this notification. One is assistant electrical inspector, 12 posts are there. The other one is assistant engineer electrical in PWD public works department, 13 posts are there. When you talk about the qualification as I was telling you have to require you should be having a degree. So for this post you have to have a degree plus you require three years of experience three year, three years of experience in some electrical industry let us say you're working in tneb also electricity board then you may apply for this post whereas this post which is there this is uh, the requirement is degree and plus there is no experience even freshers can apply so freshers can apply for this post assistant engineer public works department but those are having more than three years experience can go for the above post and it is also a big post compared to this post salary is also high that you can refer in the notification for more details and regarding to the date of examination it is 10th august so you are having around one and a half to two months of time is there ample preparation time is also available nothing to worry and uh, regarding the examination pattern examination pattern is like this you are having two papers paper one and paper two and paper one is the electrical paper or technical paper paper two is the general studies gs paper you can refer to the notification for the syllabus on gs because I am going to discuss the syllabus of electrical in this video and the paper duration is 3 hours for electrical and 200 questions and 300 marks are the total marks for this paper and uh, in the GS paper that is paper 2 you are having 2 hours duration 100 questions and 200 marks in total and uh, paper 1 is going to be held in the morning and afternoon you will be having the GS paper and another very interesting thing is there is no negative marks so far we have gone through the previous year papers also there is no mention about negative marks definitely there is no negative marks in this examination and uh, it is absolutely a wonderful opportunity because you are also not even having negative marks it gives a lot of confidence so if you could spare this two months in a good way if you are able to manage your time properly and uh, properly prepare for this examination maybe you might be one among those 12 or 13 posts next session or next section of this video is regarding the syllabus electrical syllabus discussion so for electrical engineering graduates in uh, Tamil Nadu state there are two basically two major employers that is TNPSC combined engineering service and uh, electricity board the generation or distribution or transmission anywhere so you are having two opportunities mainly in government sector primarily and I want to make this video in a such a way that analysis of syllabus which I'm going to give now will be helping you to plan your preparation for TNPSC as well as TNEB if there is any nearby notification coming out. So I have compared or I can I have gone through the syllabus of the both examinations and I have accordingly made this table and I will be explaining how should we plan our preparation accordingly. So on this side I am taking the TNPSC syllabus as base and uh, I am going to compare it with the TNEB that is electricity board uh, syllabus. If there is anything uh, different from this one I am going to write down and I will explain here. Say first subject is network theory subject. This network theory subject is same as gate syllabus or I can say standard gate or IES syllabus. How much is there in network theory that is there in this TNPSC also all the topics are included and the same is the syllabus for TNEB also with regard to network theory. Next is you are having EMT electromagnetic fields or electromagnetic theory that is also same as the gate or IES. So the next topic is measurements and instrumentation. This measurements and instrumentation now, now you are having two parts one is measurements the other one is instrumentation. So generally measurements part is there in gate, in gate you don't have instrumentation for electrical guys but whereas you will have instrumentation for IES. So I can say this measurements and instrumentation is equal to IES or ESE syllabus 
okay in instrumentation you will generally study about different types of sensors transducers etc in measurements generally you know up to digital meters analog cro and all these things you discuss in me measurements but when you come to tneb there is no subject measurements and instrumentation completely not there at least not instrumentation measurements is a core subject of electrical but still it is not included in the syllabus of tneb so if you are preparing for tneb you have to keep this in mind because measurements and instrumentation is a very big subject if you can avoid preparing for the subject according to the syllabus you can save a lot of time next is control systems as you know control systems will have different type of topics like transfer functions stability time response analysis frequency response bode plot nyquist plot polar plot compensators controllers and then steady state or sp state space analysis isn't it state variable analysis so that is the last part of the control system that is common for all the examinations but there is one extra thing which is there in this tnpsc that is in state space analysis we generally deal with finally we come up to controllability and observability and how to derive state transition matrix how to take the transfer function from that uh, state equation or from transfer function to state equations these are the things but what is there extra in control systems is this sample data system you are also supposed to find the stability of any sample data system so that is the extra parameter that is added in control systems when you look at the tneb tneb syllabus has got a separate subject called control systems which is same as the regular gate syllabus control systems only but there is another co subject called as com computer control of processes and networks so there is another individual subject called as computer control of process and uh, networks in this in this subject the computer control of process relates to the sample data system only okay so sample data system based topics are comes under computer control of processes and there is another network that network corresponds to data communication networks next when you talk about electrical machines it is same in both the examinations and it is equivalent to the gate exam paper or gate exam syllabus power system is also almost same as the gate exam or ies exam and it is same in electricity board also and when you come to analog and digital electronics analog and digital electronics is the same how much you study in ies or in gate examination also but not in uh, i cannot compare this analog and uh, digital electronics with gate it is better if you prefer or prepare through ies questions okay so where i am telling gate and ies you have to prefer those books for preparing those subjects that's what i mean so for analog and digital electronics it is suggested to prepare through ies papers the reason is here the syllabus which is included in analog and digital is morely dependent on theoretical aspects as compared to gate is more on problematics so it is not much problematic here more theoretical so you can prefer the ies questions it will be better so in digital up to you know up to uh, registers memories types of digital logic families combinational sequential logic circuits all these things are included timers etc are there but when you come to tneb here you are not having analog electronics so please keep in mind don't go through the analog if you are preparing for electricity board only prepare with the digital the same thing which is there here is present in this digital also but there is one extra thing in this digital apart from digital electronics you are having 8051 microcontroller so you have to study about the architecture programming interfacing everything instruction set regarding 8051 microprocessor again in tnpsc you don't have microprocessor included in digital electronics but there is a separate chapter called as digital processors but this is a little bit lengthy why because in this digital processor you are having 8051 microcontroller 8085 microprocessor and 8086 microprocessor also so you have to study these three things so that is another challenging issue here in digital processors so you could better go through the questions of ies that would be very well useful to you and next finally you are having communication in communication engineering basically you have analog communication and digital communication and that communication which is given here is a digital communication over here okay so if somebody is most of the electrical engineers are new to communication subject isn't it because we generally don't study in the graduation level also but how do we prepare for this subject is little bit a question so i suggest you take the textbook of jb gupta electronic device and circuits in the textbook uh, you are having communication subject also it is very very lucid and easy to understand you can go through that and try to solve some previous gate question or ies questions it, this topic will be there in ies examination and again you are having digital signal processing so in digital signal processing uh, uh, you have to start studying from the discrete fourier transform onwards and filters jet transforms all these things are included in this 
digital signal processing topic again some basic aspects of digital signal processing like uh, like dft fft and filters are included in this digital processors also so some parts of dsp are also included in this eighth chapter only so this thing that means you can prepare all these topics for both the exams nothing to worry you need not isolate anything else and apart from that you are having something called as networks over here which was included in this subject that is only the networks and this is already included in this communication part so you are having some digital communication networks so topology is the seven layer osa protocol etc and uh, you are having separate subject called as communication engineering where you are supposed to deal about so here also you have to deal some basic aspects of communication engineering like ground wave propagation space wave propagation so on and so forth and again the type of communication technique is a digital only here also so you are not having analog communication in both of the examinations and again power electronics is same as what we have in IES syllabus not yet IES and uh, you are having a new subject called as renewable energies renewable energy sources and storage devices so in this topic basically we deal about different uh, no, or in, I can say in depth concepts about uh, solar uh, power systems and uh, also about uh, micro hydel systems and uh, wind energy some aspects about wind energy types of uh, wind power plants or wind generators and then you are having about uh, batteries the storage uh, devices that is nothing but the fuel cells batteries super capacitors these are the topics included in the storage devices so this is about the syllabus that is there for TNPSC and TNEB. So accordingly you can plan which topics to prepare and which topics not to prepare. So now you are having around uh, 60 days or around 2 months, 1 and after 2 months you are having for preparation of this examination. So preparing along with GS and these topics, if you properly plan that would be very much easy. But if your time management is not good, yes you are having a lot of amount of time, 2 months is a very big time. But the syllabus is also too lengthy. But if you see, you have to prepare for equally GS and you have to prepare for the other topics which were not actually there in your graduation or generally we don't study for gate examination or IS examination also. If somebody is preparing for engineering services, maybe you might be comfortable in this digital or communication aspects. But you are having renewable energy storage and storage devices. They are real. Uh, I can say they are also easy things. But not everybody are not that fast or not everybody are preparing for IES, they might be thinking for uh, some job in uh, TNPS or TNEB, so they might be comfortable here. So you have to push your limits for preparing for these new topics. From rlceducation.com, we are providing another crash course for this particular examination. So there are one thing, some things to be noted about our crash course. Uh, the crash course will be valid up to around uh, 70 to 80 days. And uh, you are having the topics coverage in our crash course from uh, network theory or I can say except EMT you are not having EMT in our crash course and uh, we are not having the communication in our crash course and in processors we are uh, covering we have covered 8085 processors and this renewable energy storage and uh, devices these are not there but in this meanwhile I can help you out if somebody is enrolled in our crash course I can help you out in preparing with this last topic and I can help you out in preparing with EMT and uh, I will also suggest or guide you how to go through the communication also and in meanwhile of this uh, course of this uh, 60 to 80 days when you enroll I will also try and upload some uh, videos regarding the communication also which will be very crisp and very short because I, I am not uh, going to provide in-depth lectures but because this is a crash course on a crash code mode only I will be going through the previous year questions of uh, TNPSC and TNEB as far as I have collected and I will take such questions which were asked in that examinations and I will I will try to explore this subject through the that question as that question as a window I will try to explore this other important uh, other uh, unknown topics like sample data systems com computer control process communication and everything that we will try to cover in exclusive but as of now these are the topics that are available in our crash course so that is one way how you can prepare for this examination through our platform Another way is you are having a lot of free videos in our platform, you could utilize that one. And if you log into anacademy.com also, I am a top educator in anacademy.com and there is a wonderful course called as 1500 most expected MCQs. So that uh, MCQs, uh, it is 1500 most expected but I have completed around 500 MCQs in that, I have dealt with 500 MCQs. If you go through that all the 500 MCQs also, they all are most expected and basically you can expect many questions for these kind of examinations.
so regarding the books or the sources of preparation i should say one thing this book should always be with you that is uh, made easy electrical engineering handbook see for the success of any competitive exam success in any competitive exam maintaining proper short notes is a very very must and very very important now you see you are having 20 uh, two months of time but in this two months of time you have to prepare for gs as well as electrical so the net time that is available for electrical will be again reduced only so in the short period of time you have to make short notes for this huge syllabus it uh, might not be possible in very short period of time so this made is electrical handbook is already a short book it has got some important points of uh, number of uh, chapters or you know, number of topics a lot of topics are also included here because this book is designed based on ies syllabus and i can say the most of the syllabus of these examinations are matching with the ies so you find relatively a lot of uh, points important point for your examination and apart from that let us say you are preparing for a mar course suppose while you are preparing for some certain topic you don't find that point or that important aspect which is there in this video and we don't find it in that book so then and there you can update it so like this you can just uh, add up some uh, missing points only just by that you can make your complete short notes in a full shape so that's what actually helps you and in the last moment for revision that will actually help you and regarding uh, the mock test there is another feature that we are providing is mock test series will be there so for all individual subjects there is a mock test and also there are finally we are also going to conduct some uh, final grand test for the technical part so that is another aspect regarding the crash course next sir from where i want to study myself where can i get the questions or from which questions i should prefer regarding the questions i will give you first priority prepare from previous ies questions previous ies questions and then go with the one mark gate questions so these both books you can purchase the previous year solution books that will be more than sufficient i should say you need not go with another mcq source also somebody is watching this video for the first time please subscribe to our channel there is a lot of useful content you can check out the content which is there in this channel for electrical engineering students and i also wish that you will share this video with your friends who are preparing for the same examination okay thank you for watching and all the best to everybody